Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account. We're gonna be checking out the Nightmare Corridor. Now the latest guide is up and I believe this is week 50 something for the Nightmare Corridor, but we are looking at Arden in this one. And of course, guys, a big thing with this one is Vika. So Vika, of course, is the brand new Mauler and Vika is being used in formations in the best in slot formations. So again, we kind of judged her a little bit earlier when we seen her come out. So let's hop over, guys. We're gonna take out the look at the um, guide, really break it down and see exactly where we can make this happen. All right, guys, so here we have the breakdown of the Dark Arden with the Nightmare Corridor. You can see the mercenaries in here. We have the Awakened version of Athelia, the original version of Taylene. We have Trishia, we have Laika, and this last box right here is actually um, is actually Lavatoon. So if you do not have Lavatoon, guys, definitely one to go ahead and build. Now, I tried a couple different ways to get this, so there is not going to be a link down below for Dark Arden or the Nightmare Corridor, um, same with Treasure Scramble, with the conversion, with a couple ones, I can link the Chinese version, but to do the translation, I could not get it to work. Now looking in here, guys, we are still running Rem and Trichia in here. We do have the original version, or excuse me, the Awakened version of Aziz, and right here, guys, you can use even the gold one. You're just looking for the SP effect in here. And then of course, we have Amelia, and we have the twins with the Moth in here, doing incredibly well, guys, and again, this one not really making a big difference when it comes to that awakened version of Aziz. Now looking down here, this is another one um, where they are running Baden instead of Rem. So again, a little bit of a variation in this one, running Hodgkin in here, and then we do have um, Estrilda and we also have the twins in there as well. Now the second one, this is where it's kind of interesting, guys. So you can see right here is Vika, or this is the same formation, but running the Vika variant. So they kind of broke it out. Kill took 42, almost 43 seconds. This one took 35 seconds. So this one is actually coming in a little bit faster, as you can see, just looking at the numbers in that very first formation. Now the collection, of course, Rem with the Shadow Dancer, Baden with the Shadow Dancer, the Wolf Fang, and Amelia without a collection at all. Now the Devil is Team 2. Now a lot of players were also commenting on this one, guys, looking at Olgath in here. Now Olgath is and has been um, one of the highest damage dealers that we've seen. It's kind of crazy how effective he's been within this game mode. Um, and it took a long time for him to actually get here. You can see we have Mortis in here. If you don't have Mortis, you can actually drop Anasta in here. It will work incredibly well. Running Liberta, and then of course, old school Saurus and Naruko in here as well, guys. Naruko, of course, a tank, but attack buff. Heal works incredibly well. And then the Shroom Spooter in there as well. Looking at some of the variations, you can see if you don't have um, if you don't have Olgath, you can actually put Lucy, Lucila in here. Works incredibly well. The Awakened version of the Rabbit, which is funny that they call her the Rabbit. Um, in here, we have Antandra in here as well. Then, of course, another variation where if you don't have Lucila in here, you can actually drop this one. And this is kind of the basic variation. So looking right here, guys, um, this is running Liberta and Lucila, but this does drop out the Awakened version of the Heroes, making it work a little bit well. Then, of course, the collections, um, the treasure right there, uh, the rabbit bow, the cannon, uh, the demon with the armor. Some of these, again, the translations on these are pretty rough. Now, when you got down here, this is an interesting combination, guys, with Team 3 because you have the original version of Taylene, but it is not running Orthos in there, which is kind of interesting to see um, that they are not running Orthos. So it is running the combination of the Awakened version of Solus and then, of course, Taylene in here. Uh, most of them do not have collections. If you notice, that is one of the big things, guys. Now, if you don't have Estrilda or if you ran Estrilda in a different comp, they do have Re uh, Rain in this formation or they even do have Tamaris. All three of them, very, very strong buffers. But you'll notice that we are running a variety or variation of pets between all three of these to really make this work with the translation. Um, and of course, Super Fox with the Treasure House. Treasure House, of course, is the support. The Roman's bag is essentially the treasure house. Um, and again, the translations in these are pretty interesting to see. Now, this one, pretty interesting. Team number four, guys, you do have the Invade. So this is bringing Scrag in here. Again, Naruko is in here. If not, you have Edwin. Big reason for this, guys, is if you're using Naruko in some other teams. Waken version of Athelia in here, which, of course, Oren can be the cheaper version of that. Then we have Palmer, and then we also do have Ivan in here, or the variation where if you're not running Naruko, you can actually drop Silas in here. Silas still does a considerable amount of buffs um, within AFK Arena, and of course, the, the Beast variation 
in here. And then you'll also notice right here, um, the Awakened version of Athelia has the Shadow Dancer, the others are without. Now, if you do have them, I'm sure putting them on here would be pretty beneficial, but overall, it seems like they ran the, them pretty basic in here with the teams to really build them out. Now, looking at Team 5, this, of course, is the Awakened version of Sophia and the Awakened version of Thane and the Awakened version of Brutus, that's right. So this is a huge, huge variation within here. Um, and then, of course, this is the variation that we've seen. So actually running Orin in here with Chrisio worked incredibly well. Even down here, guys, we have um, the Awakened version of, of Brutus with Chrisio. And again, some of these were the original versions before the Awakened version of Sophia actually showed up. And then, of course, it changed quite a bit when she came up with her shielding, with her buffing. And then, of course, Damia in here, guys, as a buffer. We have Athiel in here as a buffer. Works incredibly well within the combinations. And then, of course, all three of them are wearing the armor. So, um... Di Diano, Super Sword, and I think Orin, Crisio, and um, Orin, Crisio, and the Awakened version of Thane. Thane is the Super Sword. Um, Queen wears the Treasure House, which I'm not sure. Queen is Sophia in this instance, which again, in the Super Lion, wears the Shadow Dancer, which of course, I believe the Super Lion is Brutus in this one. And then the Old Man team, <laughs> number six, which is pretty funny that they did the Old Man team. When you look at here, guys, this is running Scarlet and it is running Orthos. Now, of course, Orthos is gonna have the ability to time stop. With that, you're gonna have a lot more alts when it comes to Scarlet, allowing you to really maximize the damage in there. And then, of course, guys, we have Lava Tune as a buffer, Rowan as a buffer, Jerome as a buffer, especially if you have Jerome that can buff up really fast with Scarlet in here, going to do very, very interesting to see. A demon should be specialized design for the return of the old man which is very little, that's right, bringing the old man back. Um, again, a lot of players do not have Orthos. There's some variations in here. And again, this is an older one that we ran. Now, back before we had Jerome in this one, this again was a variation running Belinda and Scarlet together worked incredibly well. With the addition of Jerome and Lava Tune, it did change it up considerably. And you could also see, guys, no Damia, you can put it rain. If you don't have Belinda in the formation, you can drop Rowan in here. And then there are two other formations that are down here as well. Um, Shadow Meth, Light Girl with the Evil Eyes, which of course is the um, Oden, and then the Zishin without a collection. And this is the four card kill. So you remember there is a quest in there to kill the enemy with the four, um, four heroes. So you can see they're actually running in position one, two, and then four and five, not running three. So it's three is actually running empty with the Blade Ridge. Now you only have to do this one once, guys, for the four kill. And then of course, a couple other variations down here. So overall, guys, collections having a massive, massive impact to this game mode as well as other game modes. But we got a couple variations in here. I'm good, glad to see, honestly, that they're still doing the guide and they're putting out some of this content. Helps a ton, but always remember, guys, that you can utilize the formations um, in there to see what heroes you have, kind of build what teams you're, you're able to build within those formations, making a very big difference. But all right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's guide. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.